Hi guys, how are you doing? Great to see you. We're so excited for CC Kids. As you can see, Christmas is coming. It's very exciting. Yes. How are you, Lorna? Really good. good. Really love Christmas. All the bling, all the trees, all the lovely time with family. Yeah, it's going to be special, isn't it? Yeah, good. can't wait. I am really, really excited about presents. I love oh. presents. And I just got this strange feeling that I might be getting a present today. Yeah, I think it's going to be really big. Lucky you! And really special, yeah. Yes, I'm excited. Great. Oh, oh, I've got a joke. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, I love jokes. What hides in a bakery at Christmas time? What hides in a bakery at Christmas time? I don't know. Mints, spies. <laughs> Brilliant. I love it. That's a good one. Yeah. I'll have to remember that one. Um, guys, enjoy the show. Okay guys, really exciting. It's high five time and it's over to you. Chocolate or sweets? Sweets. Bananas or apples? Apples. Custard or jelly? Custard. Genesis or Revelation? Genesis. What is your favourite Bible story? The one where Jesus got born. That was amazing. Thanks so much for sending that in. We'll look forward to hearing another one next time. And for everybody else, do be sending them in because we would love to hear what your high five are.
for Steve. I don't know why it's always Steve, but he's quite fun to tease, isn't he? For Christmas, I know that he loves presents, doesn't he? He does, he loves them. I've got him a present here. Look at this. I mean, it's a lovely bag of Haribo, but I'm gonna wrap it up in this massive, ginormous box. He's gonna think he's got a ginormous present. Oh, I'm gonna do it now. Not quite what I expected in such a big box, but sweets are sweets, right? Thanks, Polly. Hi guys, hope you're doing well. There's only five more days until Christmas and I am so excited. I can't wait for presents. I can't wait for Christmas dinner. There's so much that I'm excited for. Um, take time to think or to chat to somebody close to you. You've got one minute to talk about all the things that you're excited about. Your time starts now. Amazing, well done guys. Now, Christmas is definitely going to be different this year because of all those yucky germs, but it's still gonna be special, isn't it? Let's listen to Sue now as she reads from John's Gospel. Hello children. This is from John 15, verses nine to 11. I loved you as the Father loved me. Now remain in my love. I have obeyed my Father's commands and I remain in his love. In the same way, if you obey my commands, you will remain in my love. I have told you these things so that you can have the same joy I have. 
I want your joy to be the fullest joy. Thanks, Sue. Let's have a little think about those words now. Did you know that those words that Jesus spoke were on the night that he was arrested? Jesus said those things because they were really important and he wanted to tell his disciples something really important. And the important things that Jesus told his disciples, he's talking to us too. See, Jesus loves us just like the Father loves us. That's what the verses say. And Jesus wants us to remain in his love. That means to be with him, to be connected to him, to stay with him. And we do that by obeying him, by following his commands, don't we? We talked about obedience last week. But why is Jesus telling us that we need to obey him and remain in God's love? Well, let's look again at verse 11. It says this, I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. Jesus wants us to be filled with joy. Isn't that special? I was trying to think of a way we could describe joy because it's like happiness, but it's so much more. And I came across this definition. Joy is what we feel when we see something so beautiful that we can hardly bear it. And that's the type of joy that Jesus wants us to have. When we see Jesus for who he is, we cannot help but be overwhelmed with joy, can't we? Shall we pray for that? Shall we pray that God will show us the real joy this Christmas? Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your son who came down to earth, who lived a real human life, who obeyed his parents and learned obedience to you. And God, thank you for the joy that he brings us. And you might like to put your hands out in front of you. Father, will you give us your joy this Christmas? Help us to know the real joy of Jesus. Lord, help us to trust you and help us to know you close to us. Amen. Thanks for listening, guys. It's
enjoyed the show. It's been great to spend the morning with you. Um, Lorna. Steve, what did you get? Did you get a present? You're yeah. excited about a present, well, aren't you? Well, I was, and it was this massive box, wasn't it? And, and then I opened it up and I was a little bit disappointed oh. because it was just one little pack of Haribo and not, you know, the big thing that I'd hoped for, but... You love sweets, right? I do love sweets. Yeah. So, thank you, Polly. Um, and yeah, guys, have a great Christmas. I think we'll see you at Christingle, hopefully. Yeah, please come to Christingle. Uh, we're going to have a week off next Sunday, but otherwise we will see you in the new year. Bye! Hi guys, just wanted to share some really exciting things coming up very, very soon here at Christchurch just for you. So from Saturday the 19th all the way through the Christmas holidays until the Sunday the 3rd of January, we are going to be doing a special scavenger hunt. So make sure that you check out the information for that. And also our Chris Dingle service is on Christmas Eve this year. And I know some of you have signed up already. If you haven't signed up yet, make sure you do it soon. Talk to your grown-ups right now. Tell them about the scavenger hunt. Tell them about Chris Dingle and tell them about all the fun you're going to have at Christmas. Have a great week.